Hi guys, welcome to my next channel. Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. So today is Foundation Friday. I hope you guys are having a great Friday and I hope you guys have some great plans for the weekend. As you can tell, we're in a little bit of a different location because my mother-in-law is in town. Hi. And so she Hi. is in my filming room and so it's a little crazy in the background right now. But I definitely wanted to try out, now this is not a new foundation, but Foundation Fridays for me is not necessarily just about what's new out. It's about other foundations that I've always wanted to try, maybe that I think would be great for you guys, um, different types of coverage, things that I just kind of want to touch on, but it has everything to do with foundation. So today we're going to be talking about the Amore Pacific Cushion Foundation. Now these guys are a Korean-based company, and they actually were the first ones to create a cushion foundation. Um, they are blending, Cushion Foundations blend basically skincare in with foundation or makeup. Um, this found, this, um, this compact has SPF 50 in it. It is cruelty free, paraben free, sulfate free, and phthalate free, which is great. Um, the reason why I wanted to try this is because I am not a fan of Cushion Foundations, but I know that so many people love them. Um, and this is just one of the OGs, the best out there, because it can give you full coverage, or I'd say medium coverage. Um, but most Cushion Foundations are really kind of very sheer, transparent. Um, but this is a little bit of a different kind. It also has, I just want to tell you, um, the only thing that I don't love is it doesn't have a ton of colors. So that's sucks, but kind of typical of, um, you know, that kind of product. Um, it says that it's good for normal oily combination, dry and sensitive, and it is a buildable coverage. And it <laughs> says it's a solution for... <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the channel. <laughs> Um, it says it's solution for dryness, dullness, and uneven texture. So whenever it says dryness for me, it sounds to me that it wouldn't be amazing for uh, oily skin, but we'll see. Um, it says basically that it blurs the line between skincare and makeup. It is a versatile color control cushion compact. Um, uh, perfects the complexion. Blah, 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 blah. It also protects the skin, though, against uh, free radical damage and brightens the skin from a naturally flawless finish. Like I said, SPS, SPF 50, and it's a, a physical, uh, it's a physical SPF, so it won't leave that white cast because it is tinted. And yeah, so that's it. What else can I tell you? Right, thank you. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> All right, so hopefully you guys can hear me, but this cushion foundation actually um, is replaceable. So this thing pops out and you can just buy the refill, which is fantastic. Um, so it looks like this. Also, two cushion foundations are known not to carry very much product. This has 0.52 ounces of product, which is not a lot, and it's a high price point. So just something to consider. But it also has skincare in it, so uh, I don't know. Uh, comes with a little pad guy and you press it into the foundation, and then it says for a light coverage, you actually sweep over the face like this. Huh, I'm gonna do one side first so you guys can see. I am number 104. It has a very nice smell to it. It is, um, you can tell there's like some fragrance in it though, but I don't mind that as far as smell. It's not great for the skin, but that's okay. All right, so, yeah, literally, that's like the lightest, like a light BB cream. You can just see it's ever so slightly perfected. Yeah, but it's pretty. I mean, you know, there's your SPF and stuff. So then it says for more fuller coverage, you're supposed to pat all over the face. And that definitely is giving more coverage. That's pretty. Here we go. I opened my door so you guys can have a little bit more light. Okay, so I'm just going to sweep, and it doesn't feel like uber hydrating, which is fine. I mean, I was worried that it was going to, like, slip and slide and be super hydrating, like the um, Rescue Complexion from Bare Minerals. I feel like I'm using quite a bit of product, though. I don't know. I, I might go through this compact really quickly. It looks beautiful on the fo forehead, though. Look at my forehead. That looks really, really pretty. I think it's gorgeous. Huh. 
and I feel like the more you pat, the definitely the more you can build up. I would call this a light to medium coverage. I definitely would not call this like full medium. Nose looks really good. I did use my Too Faced um, Hangover Primer because that's just my jam right now. Look at that's really pretty, you guys. I don't know. Should I set this? What do you guys think? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply um, a little, mm, I don't know. It doesn't say it's long wearing, so obviously it's not going to have like any kind of self-setting things in it or self-setting technology. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to um, just apply my concealer. I'm going to use... Um, just uh, my NARS Radiant Matte Concealer. So that's done. That's great. All right, I'm super into that. So I think it looks really pretty. So what I'm going to do is I am going to set under the eyes just a tiny bit. And um, I think that I'll go finish my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So this is actually after all my makeup is on. It took me literally five seconds. Um, it's actually kind of a neat foundation. I think it actually looks really pretty on the skin. It's kind of remarkable how um, weightless it feels on the skin. It doesn't feel, I mean, it's definitely like tacky a little bit. So it's going to definitely, you know, be transferring onto things if I'm not careful. But powders went on fantastic over it, which I absolutely love. So let's see how it wears. It literally is 500 degrees today. So that's why my hair is up because I am so hot. And um, we're going to go run errands, and so I'm going to take you with me, and hopefully this will hold up. And I didn't set it with anything. I didn't set it with any, um, you know, like all-nighter or anything like that. But I did use a little bit of powder under the eye. Obviously blush and everything like I normally do, and this is it. All right, so uh, I'll bring you along for the day, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, we made it to the mall. Hi, Gaga. Say hi, Linda. Hi. And Daddy. And the baby. Look at your cute little shoes. White. It's white. All right, y'all. Everything's looking good. We're ready to go rock our party shopping. Okay, bye. say seven check-in with the baby you want to show them what you got at the mall today I got a crown <laughs> that's right she did get a crown so I honestly absolutely love this cushion foundation I was so skeptical but I will tell you the color I have which is 104 is not good for me it is way too warm <laughs> even Derek was like I don't like your foundation and I was like, hey, I'm doing a foundation Friday. And he's, and I said, is it the color or is it that you don't like the finish of it? And he's like, I don't like the color of it. So it what it's a little bit too warm for me. Um, but that's okay. I think I need 204, which is more neutral, um, neutral warm. Mommy. Or neutral Mommy. with uh, yellow Mommy. undertones. So anyway, so I think that the color selection might be a little bit tough, but honestly, this is probably one of my favorite favorite foundations aside from um, my water blend foundation. I feel really good using it. It actually feels very light on the skin. Now, did it hold up perfectly, you know, through this like literally 100 degree weather that we're having right now? Um, I think it held up really nicely. I actually even took a small half an hour nap while my daughter was napping. Um, and I think it held up really nicely. I didn't notice any extreme transfer or anything like that. So I think if you have more oily skin, um, you actually could probably powder your teas zone first with a little bit of light translucent powder and then this goes over it and it might do you really good um but I definitely think that more mature women would love this because then you can just put some concealer under the eyes like I did and that gives you a little bit more coverage there so you feel a little bit more I know at least I do I feel a little bit more put together when I have that 
Um, but I just love this foundation. I can't say enough good things. Honestly, no one's paying me to say this, but I was blown away by this cushion foundation. So well done, Amore Pacific. Um, it is a fantastic little uh, cushion compact. I love that these are... Um, that this whole thing you can reuse and you just pop this out and you can re uh, get a refill. So I think that that is really awesome. But I urge you guys to go out and try it. Let me know if you guys definitely have tried it. It obviously is a higher price point, um, but I think that it, you know it's, it has like skincare ingredients and SPF 50 and all of these amazing things. Um, I just think it's beautiful. I think it looks exactly like skin. It's weightless. And I think a lot of you guys would really love this. So I'm calling this probably like the best cushion compact foundation for dry, mature, normal skin. How about that? <laughs> All right, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy Friday, and I'll see you guys later. Lots of love from me to you. Mwah. Bye, you guys. Welcome. No. <laughs> what are you doing, Bubba? Um, they make up. Oh, okay. How do you do it? Can you tell them how to do it? Um, you got to put them on my face. Uh-huh. And you got to put them on my eyes. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs> Mommy. I love you, honey.